everybody doing so far? Good, 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 good. Pretty impressive group, right? Well, just wait for this segment. Now, we just met the fabulous, wonderful, she's so cool, that Lucy Sorrentini, a champion of diversity, and one of the ways we measure progress in diversity is by how many proverbial cracks women are able to make in that darn glass ceiling. Well, we met Angie Messer and Lucy from Bose Allen Hamilton, and now I get to introduce the Chief Operations Officer of Great Minds in STEM, who will introduce the President and CEO of one of our top sponsors, who will then introduce the Scientist of the Year. Try to repeat that. And they are all women. Not that we don't like you boys, really. And of course, none of this would be possible without me bringing them on stage, so I better get with it. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, please welcome the COO of Great Minds in STEM, the wonderful, fabulous Ms. Anna Park. Thank you, Belita. It's a great honor for me to introduce this next individual, Marilyn A. Hewson, President and Chief Executive Officer of Lockheed Martin Corporation. Lockheed Martin is a founding and 25-year sponsor of the HENAC Conference. Lockheed is a key part of our organization's success. During this difficult time with the government shutdown, Lockheed Martin took a leadership role to support Great Minds in STEM to help ensure that all of our STEM college students would continue to have an outstanding conference. Ms. Houston started in her current position on January 1st, 2013, and she met with Great Minds in STEM, myself and our CEO, Ray Mayado, at the Lockheed Martin corporate offices on January 2nd. It is a true commitment when a new CEO makes it a priority to meet with a nonprofit organization on their first days in office. Before we meet Ms. Houston, we'd like to share a Lockheed Martin video. Roll video, please. From a garage in California to the surface of Mars. From bamboo and silk to advanced composites and titanium. From green eye shades to cloud computing. The story of Lockheed Martin's first 100 years has been a story of constant innovation. A story that continues to be written by men and women who look forward to the future and ask the big questions. How can we create a more secure world and defeat unknown threats from unknown quarters? How can we harness new sources of energy support a growing population and expand our knowledge of the universe. The answers will be pursued with purpose, creativity, and a relentless commitment to innovation as we go forward into our next 100 years. Lockheed Martin we never forget who we're working for. I know our CEO mentioned a network that he had with Wes Bush, and that was outstanding. I just wanted to share, we're also cultivating a great relationship with Marilyn, Vice President Maria Roos, Vice President Kim Admire, Vice President Shan Cooper, Shani Wah, and many other great women that we work with at Lockheed Martin. So, networks continue to be built, Chair. Please join me in welcoming the President and CEO of Lockheed Martin, Ms. Marilyn Houston.
Thank you very much. I'm honored to be here tonight. Lockheed Martin has been a proud sponsor of HENAC since it began 25 years ago. In those years, we've been honored to work with great minds in STEM to recognize countless exceptional scientists and engineers. And we're still working together to develop future generations of innovators as well. So I think it's especially fitting that tonight's theme is forged by tradition, fueled for tomorrow. That's a terrific description of our partnership with Great Minds in STEM. Ray Miato and Great Minds in STEM have opened doors for young people in underserved communities all over the nation to help them discover what's possible in the world of STEM. They're being connected with mentors, with unique learning programs, and with the opportunity to pursue their dreams. Lockheed Martin is proud of its newest partnership with Viva Technology, a Great Minds in STEM venture. This innovative K-12 program has already reached over 90,000 students across the nation. And we plan to extend that reach. We are excited to work through Viva Technology to connect students face to face with men and women who have built amazing careers in science, math, and engineering. We're hopeful and confident that our partnership with this program will allow us to reach thousands more young people across the country, inspiring them to believe that anything, anything is possible. Just like great minds in STEM, Lockheed Martin has a rich history. We're grounded in a legacy of innovation. And it all started over 100 years ago, when our founders were just ordinary men with extraordinary visions. Like so many people here tonight, Lockheed Martin founders were fortunate to receive the support they needed to pursue their dreams, to be part of something bigger than themselves. For example, Glenn Martin was encouraged by Orville Wright to pursue his dreams of building an innovative new airframe. Before Allen and Malcolm Lockheed built seaplanes that shattered speed records, they got off the ground with the help of mentors and investors who took a chance on them. The founders of Lockheed Martin believed in innovating for tomorrow. And that spirit lives on in all of our employees who are shaping the future today. That's the same spirit we're here celebrating tonight. Great Minds in STEM is empowering the next generation of discoverers and innovators and the next generation of scientists and engineers who will transform our lives forever. <laughs> 